Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we are taking a look at turning the brand new Galaxy Fold 3 into an actual iPhone. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, thanks to the addition of using different launchers, we can actually go ahead and utilize them to really turn this phone into that, like I said, an iPhone, which is really, really awesome. So starting off right away, here is the outer screen layout, and it does look very much like an iPhone. We have the four uh, at the bottom, four applications at the bottom, while at the very top here, of course, we do have a weather application, and we have all the other icons that resemble that typical iPhone type look. Now, if we scroll over to the right hand side, you guys can see we do, of course, have our little app folders right here with our app library. And if we go ahead and scroll over to the left here, we do, of course, have our other applications uh, that we have installed on this device. Now, this even comes equipped with Control Center. If I go ahead and swipe down to the right, you guys can see we also have Control Center on this device, which is fully option rate, option, uh, option operational if i could speak uh as we could go ahead and make it either you know super dim or super bright it's a little bit of the delay but again like i said it's one of those things where hey you get control center you get that iphone type look on this device and yes everything works including the camera so everything works as it would on an iphone this is actually really freaking dope so if we go ahead and open up this phone you are going to see that we do of course uh, we're met with pretty much what looks like an iPad. In a way, this is like the uh, greatest example possible of just saying that this is an iPad on a Galaxy Fold 3, and that's what it looks like. It gives you every functionality that an iPad would give you uh, with the exact look that an iPad would give you. Now, you can even change the background and make it more or less look like a you know iPhone type of look, but at the same time though, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And you know, looking at this on the Surface Duo, they, I could never get the exact same look of what an iPad would look like on the Surface Duo. On this phone, this actually looks so perfect. You could tell me right now that this was the brand new iPad mini. And without, you know, if you just throw me pictures, I might say, okay, maybe it is, right? Because of how identical it does look. And like I said before, yes, you can go ahead and get Control Center. And Control Center, when you go in uh, you, this way, is actually a lot bigger, as you guys can see. And let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's go back. Let's open it up again. So as you guys can see, it's a lot bigger now, um, and it's a lot more intrusive. Uh, you can't scroll down there, which is kind of sad. But overall, though, it just looks absolutely gorgeous on this device. Now, if you guys did not see my video recently on how to get iMessage on the Galaxy Fold 3 make sure you go ahead and check that out because you can actually get iMessage on this and now with iOS 15 coming out you can make FaceTime calls on this you can get Apple Music you can actually make this an iPhone with everything except not having the ability to actually have the Apple Wallet everything else can be utilized on this phone just like you could on a typical iPhone uh, no issue at all and I absolutely love that fact now we go ahead and hold on to the home screen you can see we can add different widgets like i said before you can go ahead and add all the iphone widgets that you know you typically would have an iphone there's more widgets with the outer display than the inner display but still nonetheless it still looks absolutely gorgeous now if we scroll out to the left hand side you guys can see it does of course have all of our other applications including we can go ahead and edit this and add batteries and stuff like that just like you could on an iphone we have batteries clock calendar and of course let's go ahead and get rid of uh, that one let's go ahead and add these two so like for example if i wanted to go ahead and add them i could add batteries my favorites my suggestions my calendar all that kind of great stuff as you guys see it says in my iphones at 23 percent even though this is again a galaxy fold 3 but it thinks it's an iphone because of the fact that i am having an ios launcher it has my time right there so again like i said if you're looking at this and you're just looking at pictures you might think this is an iPad? It's like a little miniature iPad. And to be honest, you would not be incorrect if you thought that. Be just based on how it actually looks. Now, once you go into NVIDIA application, it actually looks exactly the same like a normal Android phone would. So again, it's just the outer skin that actually does look like an iPhone. But overall, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And yes, there are folders, which is really cool. Let me down below your thoughts and opinions of this. I'm going to go ahead and give this right here a solid 9 out of 10. Because if you just showed pictures to somebody who didn't really know technology or about the brand new foldable phones, they might actually say it's an actual iPad. So 
in terms of turning this into an iPhone or an iPad, you got to give this a 9 out of 10 because it actually has the ideals and everything that could work out to actually be exactly what, you know, we want it to be when it comes to that. And also you can see it also reskins all the applications like the Play Store has the Apple Store logo. The weather icon has the Apple weather icon logo. And only thing I think Google Maps doesn't have the Apple Maps, but you can probably get Apple Maps on here and even make it more realistic. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, though, hit that like button down below. Tell Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.